Oh, it's dynamite. Okay, you guys taught me how to do this. All right, so you need to stand to the side and you push the plunger. No! No! How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Expert Mage Let's Play. And thanks for the continued amazing support, guys. Over 2,000 likes on the last episode. You are amazing people. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are here in the underground granite biome because this is pretty much where we got up to last episode. Ah! No! No, 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 no. <laughs> um, this is where we got up to last episode. And I want to keep exploring as we make our way... Ooh, lucky. As we make our way down to... No, we've got warding. We'll stick with that. Uh, actually, let's put on that Spelunker potion. Lovely. And that... Hang on, Salamander. What are you doing? Just stay away, buddy. Ooh, we should get this stuff too. Lovely. Um, yeah, we're making our way down to the underworld, so we can finally start our base. Oh, yes, an underground chest. Lovely. Ooh, what's this one? Another band of regen. This is out of control. All right, let's get all this stuff, and I should probably fill up the pig quickly, because we are chock-a-block here, so let's just dump all the... No! No, 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 no! Oh, they are so sneaky, those things. I can't believe it. No. All right, there we go. And a night owl. Lovely. That should help. Um, so yeah, so you notice I've got the water bolt uh, here. A few of you asked me to start using it. Oh, look at all these, um, look at all these gems in here. We totally need to get these. So normally I hold off when I get a slightly overpowered weapon, just because, you know, I want to make sure everyone's happy with the playthrough, and, uh, you know, you don't feel it's overpowered. But a lot of you are like, happy, happy, use the water bolt, and I was like, alright, alright, it's all good. Um, you know, I'd rather you guys say it that way than the other way. You're like, oh, you made it too easy, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, let's make our way along here. Ooh, yes, another underground room. Very nice. And a mouse. Die, mouse. Mwah. Ooh, warding. What's my one? <gasps> Violent. This is an upgrade. Yes. Full bonus armor. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. Don't even start. <laughs> I can't believe it survived that. That's insane. Oh. Anyway, let's get down here and get this heart. One, two. That should work. Can I kill you? No. Can I get you through there? Yes. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Whoa. Look at all that iron. That's insane. We need to get up there. <gasps> and another light crystal. That's sweet. All right. Up there. And oh, oh, it's dynamite. Okay. You guys taught me how to do this. All right. So you need to stand to the side and you push the plunger. No. No. <laughs> you guys said it would work. <laughs> oh, no. Note to self, stand further back from the detonator. Let's continue on downwards, shall we? So, ooh, okay, we're opening up into a safe, hopefully bomb and explosive free area. Oh, we're in the underworld. Sweet, I was so close. Oh, so nice. And there is lots of lead. We must have oh, 140 lead ore. Wow, that was like the biggest ore vein I've ever seen. That was so cool. And we're still dealing with granite mobs, but that's okay. And, uh, ooh, is that... Is that like proper lava or is that just the stream? Okay, that's fine. A few more topaz, always nice. And I'll finish the uh, elevator off properly later. But the main thing is, we are here. Oh yes, oh, very nice. And a few of you were like, happy, happy. You should try and get the um, the demon scythe, uh, which I believe is a 2% chance uh, from demons. Uh, so that's not too bad. We could set up like a mini little uh, demon farm and try and get it. Whoa, okay, whoa, let's not, let's not get too hasty here, people. <laughs> oh, yes. And these little slimies are going to make lava go everywhere, aren't they? Yep, 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 okay. So, yeah, we want all this lovely, uh, yeah, obsidian for our dungeon part of the base, which we will be building this episode. But let's have a little look around first, see what's going on here in uh, Lava Town. And yep, already falling in lava, that's a great start. <laughs> ah, what's hitting me? No, 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 no. Oh, that's, what's with, no, no. Uh oh, oh, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Just gotta believe, we gotta believe. Oh, this is like the ultimate boss fight. Oh, no, no, just stay away. There's <laughs> like water bolts going everywhere. <laughs> spray and pray, people, spray and pray. Oh, any hearts for happy? No healing, no, I don't want healing potions, I want hearts. Hearts for happy. No. <laughs> yeah, I reckon we could easily farm up a uh, demon scythe. That would be kind of fun. I would like that. Hmm. Yes, okay. 
I reckon this could be the demon. This could be the demon. It's gonna give us the demon scythe. Bat, stop trying to ninja me like the other one did. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm out of mana! Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. So, I'm obviously going to die here even with our water bolt if I push my luck too far. So I think what we'll do, I might do a bit of a montage, and let's uh, let's just like destroy one of these buildings, get all the loot and uh, building materials, and then we can actually start our proper base, which I'm excited to do. So, I'll do a sped up montage as always guys, let's get this started. Oh, and we're going to use lots of bombs. It is time, my friends. The sun is shining, and we've been farming up a bunch of obsidian underworld stuff, and the bunny is there just saying hi, but uh, we can have no bunnies on this watch. So we've got this nice area here, and I think our dungeon area is going to look sweet in this area, and we can make like a foreboding sort of entranceway. So we just need to sort of, you know, make a little tunnel inwards, and then we can like put obsidian bricks on the entrance and make it look like, you know, the entrance to someplace dark. So, oh, I don't know, like, you know, usually what I do is sort of line the entranceway with obsidian bricks. And I can always go back down and get more if I need them. And then we sort of just need to, yeah, like expand this area just a little bit. And I'm going to refrain from bombs because, yeah, you know, I just, yeah, I want to fine tunely sort of dig this out. Uh, so that'd be kind of cool. So we can maybe start the room from there. And then what I usually do is do like this zigzaggy sort of design. And that way you can sort of build out from that and then, you know, sort of just plan how you want to do it. But uh, we should be able to get quite a few NPC rooms in here, which will be nice because I'm surprised I haven't actually bumped into the goblin yet. But if we just run up and down our elevator, um, it should spawn, like, it's just like a normal mob, like, they can spawn at any time, so, that's kind of cool. We are done guys, and we have four NPC houses with our nice underground dungeon ready for action. And that life crystal we didn't use before, but it uh, took me an embarrassingly long time to do this. I get so distracted when I'm doing like buildy crafty stuff in Terraria, and I'm like, Whoa, I gotta get the video finished, what are you doing happy? <laughs> oh man, but it's looking alright, I'm quite happy with it. And uh, we can expand down below in between this area if we need to later on. So, what we're going to do next, uh, I think we should uh, fight the Eater of Worlds before we continue. 
Um, and we had all that extra cooked fish from when we uh, fished up the Reaver Shark and the Sawtooth Shark. I mean, they were raw fish and I cooked them, which was nice. Uh, let's also take a Thorns Potion. Um, so yeah, I think we should get that done before we move on. So let's get some of our good, good uh, basic buff potions. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's get some shine as well. And I think, uh, yeah, I don't believe we smashed all the crimson or uh, crimson, <laughs> all the shadow orbs. So let's make our way to the corruption and see what mischief we can get up to. Oh yes, welcome back to the corruption. <laughs> so let's make our way down and uh, what? oh, the demolitionist is here. Awesome, cool. Uh, I actually brought, uh, bought some purification powder because we didn't have the demolitionist. I was like, oh no, we can't. But uh, I know I've got the, um, uh, I've got the Reaver Shark. I didn't need the purification powder. Fail! <laughs> well, now we have options. I can use Reaver Shark, I can use purification powder. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I forget the most basic thing sometimes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So, oh, <laughs> now I'm drinking potions. Oh, so, yeah, I guess what we need to do is, yeah, just expand this area uh, at least a little bit. Um, you don't need tons and tons of room to move around against the Eater of Worlds, but you do need a little bit. Um, if I let, whoa, if I left it as it is now, we'd probably get totally smashed, uh, which would be sad. Funny for you guys, perhaps. Sad for me. Sad, sad for Melanie. She's died enough already. I mean, the pain needs to stop sometimes. <laughs> uh, actually, I can probably make some... Ooh, a mana star. Ooh, lots of mana stars. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Are we max mana? I uh, can't quite tell with the... I think we need one more mana star. Anyway, I was going to say, let's make some sticky bombs. And that should speed things up a bit too. So we put one there... We'll put one there, and there, and there, unless I blow ourselves up. Oh yes, that's working nicely. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it must be near an ice biome too. Now, I can't actually remember if we broke two orbs last time, and this will summon the boss when I smash this one, or if I summoned it and died, I, I really can't remember. Um, but I have a feeling this will be the third orb, so... <sighs> Hopefully we go okay. Hopefully we do all right here. Um, so let's get this started, I suppose. Three, two, one. Yep, yep. Okay, it is the uh, it is the the boss one. Whoa, hello, big big fella. What's going on? All right, so let's. Uh, I'll try a bit of our emerald one to start with, uh, so we're not just like water bolting it straight up. And ooh, okay. It looks like if we can get him on the right angle, we can get lots of headshots in. So that'd be nice. Um, oh, that's right. The vial spit. I need to watch out for that. All right, where's the head? Come on, come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I should have brought a hunter potion. That would have been a good idea. All right. Oh, if I can get it on the right angle. Yep, here it comes. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a little worm too. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just trying this first, guys. I know the water bolt will shred it in like, you know, no time at all. So, you know, we'll give ourselves a little bit of a challenge to start with. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, is that kind of weird I'm trying to make an expert boss challenging? <laughs> uh, look at you! Get out of here! The small mob's causing more trouble than the big one. <laughs> no! I'm attacked by a pretzel! <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a good hit! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, wow, we got some great hits in. Yes! 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 Take that! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Alright, I'm gonna get some water bolt. <gasps> no, I'm stuck in a little spot! No! <laughs> oh, wow. This got real. This is getting real. Oh, please, hearts for happy. Hearts for happy. Happy needs some hearts. Whoa. Okay, the water bolt's making him split. Oh, oh, oh. this escalated quickly, people. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay, we got one. We got one. There's a little one. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm stuck up here. <gasps> Am I nearly got a heal? Four seconds. All right, we just have to survive. We just have to... No, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Oh, yes, we got one. Yes, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, we got another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, let's use some water bolt. Let's get this finished. Oh, and this is why I didn't use water bolt to start with, guys. <laughs> it's a little bit OP. <laughs> oh. 
funny. <laughs> uh, <coughs> pardon me. Ah, well, that was kind of fun. Oh, yes, we got a band of star power. Hey, 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 where did you come from? Get out of it. That's nice. Um, what accessory... Is that turned into the celestial magnet? Is that that one? I don't know, I rarely make it, so... Yeah, that'd be cool, though. Uh, but we have treasure bags, so... Oh, Alright, you ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Worm scarf. And it's armoured. Ooh, maybe... Shoe spikes. That's, like, just direct more, um, defence, which is kind of nice. Um, 17% less damage. I will take that. Very nice indeed. Um, mages definitely need that. And we have lots of rotten chunks, so if we wanted to fight another one, we could. But I think that will do for now. We are here on the left side of our world, being attacked by vultures, which is never fun. And uh, we are on the lookout for the jungle because a few of you were saying to me I should get the mage set that you can make from, I think it's like jungle spores and yeah, all that good stuff. And yeah, I rarely get it, but apparently it's pretty good for magic, so... I'm, wow, check out this little desert jungle. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I never get it, but I'm totally pumped to give it a shot. Wow, I'm getting a lot of depth, depth meters. And we found the jungle, and it looks like we also found a meteorite. Uh, we could make the meteor set as well. That's, that's another possibility. Is there a meteor near here? Where's it? Oh, is it landed right in the jungle? What are you doing, meteor? Oh, oh, here it is. It's right here. <laughs> oh, crazy meteor. I don't know. Let's make a little platform. Just so we got... <laughs> no, not a queen bee arena. A platform. A proper, proper platform. Thank you. Thank you, meteor heads. That's better. Back. Back, I say. Alright, this isn't too bad. Just need to, you know, make a little bit of room. And all that good stuff. But uh, guys, we might leave that there for today. Thank you so much for watching, as always. We'll continue on with our jungle exploration next episode. Smash that like button if you're enjoying this series. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. But here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya. No! Oh, why did I go down? Why did I leave the box? Life was good. <laughs> I could have just killed the boss and lived like a king. Oh, guys. It's getting low. It's getting low, but it is shooting like a crazy bee. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, get out. Lorenzo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of my secret base. <laughs> Oh, uh, bunny! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, <laughs>